Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of our programming language series. In this video, I'll be talking about pie charts. Uh, in my previous couple of videos, I'm talking about uh, visualization. So it's a part of the same series in which I'll be uh, showing you some of the visualization which we can do with the help of pie chart. So pie chart is one of the very commonly used uh, chart to represent some information graphically or uh, we can represent it uh, in a form of some graph which is called pie. So let's see it here. What is pie chart? First of all, let's see some information about it and, and then see that uh, we'll learn that how we can plot uh, the pie chart in R. For that, I've already have opened up one uh, like a text file, one notepad file for this uh, video. So first of all, what is pie chart? Uh, the pie chart depicts a special chart that uses a pie slices where each sector uh, shows the relative sizes of data. You can just uh, compare it with your PISA in which we used to have the pie slices available. So this is a pie chart kind of uh, visualization uh, you can think of or you can imagine that pizza as the pie chart in which we have a multiple slices available, right? And each slice shows the relative size of the data. So our, the, in the case of our programming language, we have a pie function available with the help of which we can create a pie charts. It means like for this uh, particular uh, chart, we don't require any uh, package, right, by default. And so pie function works it's an inbuilt uh, uh, function available. We don't have to install or download any package uh, for the same, right? So let's see what is the syntax we are having for pi. It's x comma labels comma radius comma main comma call and many more. It's not the only uh, only uh, parameters that we are having in a pi function. It's a very a bigger uh, function, right? We can have multiple parameters. If you want to know about more of the parameters, simply you know that we can uh, go with the help and let's we can see it here. What are the different parameters we can pass? So it's more than that, right? So we'll be talking about one of the generally used or commonly used parameters in the pie chart. Let's get started. So very first example in which I'm taking, in which we have a vector available, which is called X here. And I'm also defining the labels because without labels, the how you come to know that which slice, which uh, sector represent what, right? So the labels are very much important. So let's see it here, how we can draw a pie chart with the help of some labels. I got one vector available, numeric vector. Let's do it here, right? I'm copy and pasting. And we got the first pie chart of this uh, uh, today's video in which we got some uh, sectors available. You can see it here, B section, C section, D section, A section. So these are the different uh, like slices we got in the case of pie chart, right? This is the first little example of pie chart. Let's move it further. Let's let, let's add a little more information to it. Uh, so I'm just adding uh, the title, the the caption of this pie chart, uh, which which will be represented in the middle of the pie chart at very top, right? So it's the same example, but only one little change. We are adding a main parameter, which will be representing the title in this pie chart. So let's do it here again. So in which I have just press enter and you can see it here, the title got added, which is represented with the help of main parameter. That's everything is same, no change at all, right? Let's move it further. Next point is in which now uh, I want to have some uh, uh, some colors to this pie chart. I, I don't want this boring colors, the, the boring default colors. I need to uh, bring some colors into consideration. So for that, I got one COL parameter available in which we are specifying explicitly that I require red, orange, yellow, and blue, right? Let's do it now. So it's a third example in which we are adding another information, which is nothing but the colors information. So let's do it here. Let's see if the color changes or not. I'm um, just looking into it. You can see it now it's uh, pretty much uh, uh, like uh, attractive pie chart than the previous one, which was quite dull. So we have added some colors to it to make it a little bit more alive, right? This is the point of adding colors. Next point is like if you want to have the 3D plot, okay, 3D pie chart. For that, we need to uh, load the library called Plotrix. It, only in the Plotrix, the uh, Pi 3D function has been defined. Everything is same, but now instead of showing it in a 2D space, it will be showing the things in a 3D space. Rest everything is uh, same, right? No change at all. Instead of Pi function, we got Pi 3D. Now we need to add additional library called Plotrix. Rest everything is absolutely same. No change at all, right? So let's see it here, how it look like in a 3D space. For that, we have a pi 3D function available. You can see it here. Pi 3D, again, X, main, title, labels, call, everything is same, just the only two changes. We are adding a library plot rex and we are adding a function called pi 3D. Let's see it here, how it look like. It's look quite beautiful, right? So this is the, uh, this marks the end of this video in which I've just told you how we can uh, go with the basic pie chart in R. In addition to it, we learned that how we can draw the 3D pie chart, right? Rest of the content I'll be covering in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.